Hello and welcome to Calling Attention. This fortnight, let's begin by telling you what happened in the Rajya Sabha. An MP didn't wear a necklace of diamonds, nor did he wear a necklace of garish gold jewelry. He did something quite unique. He wore a necklace made up of tomatoes and I think there was ginger and garlic in between but it was mainly tomatoes. You all know what he was trying to communicate. Skyrocketing tomato prices. Did he break any rule? Did he get into trouble? Or was it innovation at its best where a public representative enters parliament he stands exactly where he's supposed to stand in his seat. He doesn't utter a single unparliamentary word. He just stands up in his seat with this ring of tomatoes. We examine all this on more, calling attention. So the member of parliament who did that actually got into serious trouble because I too would have gotten into serious trouble if I had walked in to parliament with these two tomatoes. But let's talk about some serious numbers. Year on year increase in the consumer food price index in June was 4.5% leaped to a whopping almost 12%, 11.5% in July. Vegetables witnessed a sharp increase and rose to 37% year on year. And one more number for you, inflation rate surged to 13% for cereals and a little over 13% for pulses. For milk, up 8.3% inflation, spices, 21%. So overall, in food and beverages, in that segment, the increase was over 10%. Well, these are the real numbers. So what the member of parliament did, he was from the Ahmadmi party, he didn't want to go and get into a detailed discussion on the numbers. He had this great idea where he just wore tomatoes like this to make a point. He got into trouble. Thankfully, he didn't get suspended or he got a privilege notice against him? No. But I want people like you who are watching this to have your own view. What do you think? Did he do something right? Or should he have spoken more about these numbers? For example, India's retail inflation rose to 7.4% year on year in July. And RBI had an upper limit earlier of 6%. And I've got one really good example for you the parliament answer which I was given to a question asked I think on the 20th of July or the 21st of July and the price of the tomato 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 whatever you call it it said 32 rupees 58 32 rupees and 58 paisa for a kg of tomato in June where did they get these numbers from 32 rupees in June? What is the union government smoking? And while on the subject of the tomato, not with politics, it's the Portuguese actually who were the first to introduce the tomato into India in the 16th century. And the natives called it the Vilaiti Began. The foreign brinjot, Vilaiti Began. The French had Another name for it, my French is not good, but I'll try. Pom de moi, de moi love. So pom de moi, love apples. And the Italians used to call tomatoes, again, my Italian is also bad. Pomidoro, pomidoro, meaning golden apples. Well, the Italian name was actually very, very good. The price the tomatoes are now at, they truly are golden apples.